Okay, back again to look at dynamic trimming. One more way that you can trim very quickly and efficiently, and this is a good technique for cleaning up some shots, uh, trimming out some excess footage, or cleaning up part of a sequence, or even extending a shot just a few extra frames to make it have the big impact that you want. What we're going to do is trim in the dynamic mode, but we're going to use a different set of keys, not the JKL. We're going to use the right arrow, and the left arrow. Remember where those are back down on your keyboard, the arrow left and the arrow right. I'm going to use that in combination with a magic modifier key. Remember that. We'll get to that in a second. And that's how I'm going to perform this trim in a very quick way. Let me show you the sequence again. It's the same one I've been working on. And I've got a place here where we go from the first shot to the second shot. And notice as I cut to the second shot, there's already a kid all the way at the left side of the frame. She's walking out of the shot. So it's a kind of an abrupt transition. We'll play it at speed. So she's already almost out of the shot. I'd rather have somebody coming into the frame, kind of completely walking through. And I think I have that with the second girl. She comes the second two or three all the way through. See how they come all the way through? So I just want to trim out this little excess bit right here, the girl with the hooded sweatshirt. So what I'm going to do is jump into trim mode with T. Notice again it puts my split screen, my trim window with A side and the B side of the edit, A and B, just like I see it right here down in the timeline, A side shot, B side shot. I only want to ripple trim on the B side right over here where the girl is, the girl with the hooded sweatshirt. So here's what I'm going to do is cycle through the trim options. Again, it's just the uh, control T. That gives me a ripple trim, but on the other side, it would trim just the first clip in the shot. I want it to jump over here, control T one more time. There we are. Now I can do my ripple. In this case, I want to ripple to the right. So what I'll do is I'll shorten the front end of this shot just to remove the frames of that first girl. What I'm actually doing is just moving the edit point along and rippling out extra stuff. So simply I can do that with a couple of keys. The magic modifier in this case, the key that's going to help me perform it, is the option key. What I'm going to do is hold down the option key while I tap the right arrow. Normally, if I just tap the right arrow by itself, it moves me through the timeline one frame at a time. When I combine it with the option key and I'm in trim mode, it will trim one frame at a time. So every time I move that arrow or tap the arrow, it's going to trim out a frame, trim out a frame, and so forth. So watch it in action. I'm holding down the option key. I'm in trim mode. Let's watch what happens here first, and you'll see it change in the timeline. I've got my single-sided roller. The option key is down. I'm going to tap the right arrow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think it's about 12 frames. Eight, there's 9, 10, 11, 12, let's go to 13 or 14. There we go, 15 frames, and we've got her all the way out. So I was just trimming through one frame at a time. If you have to do a real small minor change, very something specific, a blip of audio you want to trim out, or, oh, there's a bad jump cut or a weird clip, a weird thing happens in the shot before you wanted to put it in, you can trim that out simply with these keys. I'm going to do this again. I'm going to Command Z a bunch of times to get all the way back out to the uh, original. And this second time I do this, we'll look up at the trim monitor. So we're back to the original. See our indicator up here, by the way. This little number tells me how many frames I've trimmed. It's at zero now, so I'm back to the original. We're transitioning from this shot to this shot, A and B. So now I'm going to do the same old trim, but we're going to be able to look at it in a little bit better fashion right up here on our split screen monitor. So let's just adjust the screen. I'm on my edit point as I want to be. I just hold the option key down and I'm going to trim those arrows, arrows forward. We will see this part of the shot getting trimmed out. So here we go. One, two, three. See the number changing down here. We're trimming out those frames or we're going three to the right, four frames to the right. We're shortening that B side clip by trimming out those first few shots, or few first few frames, 15 to be exact. If you do the math, 15 frames, that's a half second. So I just trimmed a half of a second from that clip, and the entire timeline is now a half second shorter because I did ripple on that. And that's a quick way to do it, just by using a few keys, the option key plus the left or right arrow forward.
Let me show you something else really quick. If I needed to extend, let's say I want to put the girl back in the shot. I wanted to roll back. You know what? Maybe I did like it with her coming through. In fact, I want to roll it back far enough to where I see the first girl with the hoodie shirt coming all the way in. I could simply, I'm still parked with my single roller on this side. Remember, when I trim right on this edge, I'm trimming away from the front. If I push to the left, if I use the left arrow with the Option key, I will actually be adding at the front of this clip. I'll be making the clip longer and the sequence longer, and I'll just be backing the edit point up a little bit. Let me show you how that works. I'll sort of pull back enough where we can see both the trim monitor and the timeline. So there I am, Option key held down. Watch what happens. Really focus up here. That might be the most useful. Look up in this upper right B monitor. I'm going to go to the left now. Option key, trim to the left. Watch what happens. Now the girl's back. I could actually trim back that far. Now she's the first one coming in the door. So I either want her to come all the way through the shot or not be in the shot at all because I want clean motion through the, the frame. And watch it all now as I play back. There's the girl. Here come two or three more girls, and they're all in. Once the last one crosses the room, I'm into my scene. Now, doing this made my scene a little bit longer. I added in about another second or so of footage to that shot, so I might have to trim something else later. But that's what I can do real quickly is just cycle through the edit points. If I want to shorten this shot or lengthen it, I can just jump around, pick the right kind of trim feature, Control-T to cycle through the trim options. And then when I get to what I want, let's say I want more of the pizza option, turn to the right, and I'm just going to extend. See, I'm extending the shot with the pizza pie, the pennies B-roll four. I just added a bunch of frames, made it longer. So you can use a lot of fast keyboard commands to get your trims done real quickly. And I hope you'll try that uh, and practice that quite a lot.